All right, let's take a look at chapter seven, lesson one. So chapter seven is all on patterns and expressions. So chapter seven, um, the first page of it was back on 471. Okay, expressions and patterns is what we'll be talking about this chapter. But let's take a look at page 481. And on page 481, we're gonna talk today about numerical expressions. So it says a numerical expression such as eight plus seven is a combination of numbers and at least one operation. So numbers and one operation, an operation add, subtract, multiply, divide, okay? Maybe write that in, plus, minus, multiply, divide. That's what a numerical expression operation means. You can find the value or evaluate the numerical expression by completing each operation. <clears throat> so it says, for the draw it activity, it says Gregory and his family went hiking over the weekend. On Saturday, they hiked and uh, hiked five miles, and on Sunday, they hiked five miles. Use the bar diagram to write and evaluate two numerical expressions to represent the total miles of total miles hiked. So we have they showed a bar a bar diagram. Okay, five miles, five miles. That's the total miles. So use a bar diagram to write the addition expression. For this, we would take five plus another five, okay? And if we evaluate the expression, evaluate means to solve, right? Find the answer, find the value. So we say five plus five, well, five plus five is 10, okay? So another way we can do this using the bar diagram is we have five miles and five miles, but we could use multiplication to solve this and say that is two times five. Two times five is 10. So it's two different ways to write the same, same um, solve the same problem, okay? So they hiked a total of 10 miles, all right? Two different expressions, two different and numerical expressions. One was addition, one was multiplication. Let's take a look at the next page. It says, Mrs. Yearling has two groups of five students and two groups of four students. Use the bar diagram to write and evaluate two numerical expressions to represent the total number of students. So she has two groups of five, so we have five, five, right? Two groups of four, four, four. Here's our bar diagram. Now, use the bar diagram to write an expression using only addition. So we could say five plus five plus four plus another group of four. And if we evaluate, we find the answer, we solve the expression, we would say five plus five plus four plus four. Well, five plus five is 10, four plus four is eight, 10 plus eight is 18. Okay, now we could use the bar di diagram to write an expression using multiplication and addition by saying we have two groups of five, so two times five plus two groups of four, two times four. To evaluate the expression, we say two times five, that we have in parentheses, plus two times four. We're gonna evaluate each separate part uh, first, kind of like we did the addition. So we're, two times five is 10, plus two times four is eight. 10 plus eight is 18. So there are 18 students that are divided into the groups, okay? Now here's a helpful hint. It says parentheses tell you which numbers to group together. Perform operations inside the parentheses first. So we grouped our fives, we grouped our twos. We solved each of those because they were in parentheses first. Okay, now let's take a look here. It says, evaluate the addition expressions to find the sum. Does the order in which the expression is written change the sum? Explain. So we have one addition here and one here. Okay, so let's take a look. If we evaluate and go left to right, we say seven plus seven is 14. 14 plus five is 19. 19 plus five is 24. Here, 
if we change up the order, we say 7 plus 5 is 12. 12 plus that 7 is 19, and 19 plus 5 is 24. So the order does not change the answer. when adding, okay? It doesn't matter which order we put those numbers in, we get the same answer. That order does not change the answer, the sum, okay, um, when we're adding. And I suppose I should have probably put the word sum in there. Sorry, I'm gonna try and squeeze it in there, okay? Let's look at number two. It says, suppose Mrs. Yearling also had another group of four students. Write two new expressions to represent the total number of students. Well, up here, we could just take this and add on another group of four, right? That's how we get another group of four. So let's see, how would that change our expressions? We would still have five plus five, but then we would have four plus four plus another four. We would still have two times five, but now instead of two times four, we have three of them. So we would say three times four. Another way to write the expression if the problem changes just a little bit. Let's take a look at the next page. It says, Caleb's music class is divided into five groups of four students for a project. Use the bar diagram to write and evaluate two numerical expressions to represent the total number of students in his music class. So they show us four, 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 four. They said five groups of four. So we have five groups with four in each one. So if we're gonna write and evaluate an expression using only addition, we're gonna take each part and add it together. So write the expression means we're gonna write four plus four plus four plus four plus four. Evaluate means now I need to solve it and I need to find the sum. So four plus four is eight, eight plus four is 12, 12 plus four is 16, 16 plus four is 20. Okay, now the next part says write and evaluate an expression using multiplication. Well, we have five groups with four in each one. Five groups of four, five times four is 20. So there are 20 students in the music class, okay? Let's take a look at number four. It says, Bailey's soccer team had snacks after the game that included 12 granola bars, 12 mini muffins, and 14 bananas. Use the bar diagram to write and evaluate two numerical expressions to represent the total number of snacks after the game. So we have 12 granola bars, 12 mini muffins, 14 bananas. Write and evaluate using only addition. We would say 12 plus 12 plus 14. Now, when we have double digit numbers, you may want to solve them and stack them on the side. Then we say two plus two is four, four plus four is eight, one plus one plus one is three, and we have 38. If we're gonna write and evaluate an expression using multiplication and addition, now I see 12 is used twice and a 14 is separate. So we're gonna put in parentheses two groups of 12. 2 times 12 plus the extra 14, okay? And 2 times 12 is 24. If you're not sure, you can use your multiplication chart, okay? 2 times 12 is 24. Then we're going to add on the 14. So 24 plus 14 is 38. So there are 38 total snacks after the game. Okay, let's take a look at the following page. Number five says, Wasa went bird watching and spotted six robins, five sparrows, six cardinals, and six doves. Use the bar diagram to write and evaluate two numerical expressions to represent the total number of birds Wasa spotted. So six robins, five sparrows, six cardinals, six doves. Write and evaluate using only addition. We're gonna say six plus five plus six plus six. And 
to add these. 6 plus 5 is 11. 11 plus 6 is, se is 17. 17 plus 6 is 23. Now if we're going to write and evaluate using multiplication in addition, well, we have three groups of 6. So in parentheses, I'm going to say 3 times 6, 3 of 6, 3 groups of 6, plus 5, right? And here we would have then 18 plus 5. 18 plus 5 is 23. So he spotted a total of 23 birds. Okay, let's take a look at down at number 6. The bar diagram below can be represented by three of the four expressions. So we're looking for three expressions. Find the value of each expression and circle the one that does not represent the bar diagram. Okay, so we have 5 plus 4 plus 5 plus 4 plus 5 plus 4. Well, it says find the value of each one. So 5 plus 4 is 9. N another 5 plus 4 is 9. Another ni 5 plus 4 is 9. So we have 9 plus 9 plus 9. 9 plus 9 plus 9 is 27. So this first one is equal to 27. Now we have 3 times 5 plus 3 times 4. 3 times 5 is 15, plus 3 times 4 is 12. This one equals 27. Here we have 3 plus 5 plus 3 plus 4. 3 plus 5 is 8. 8 plus 3 is 11. 11 plus 4 is 15. This last one we have 3 times 5 plus 4. Well, parentheses first, 5 plus 4 is 9, times the 3, we have 27. Now, it says find the value and circle the one that does not represent the bar diagram. Well, this one is our odd one, right? The answer isn't the same. So this one shows 3 plus 5 plus 3 plus 4. Well, adding, we don't have any 3's here. We have all 5's and 4's, okay? So this one is not going to match. What I'd like you to do is looking at page 485 and 486, I want you to do 485 to 486. I want you to do number 1 and 2 today. Okay, so we have a practice problem here. Number 1, read the, read the story problem and write the expressions. Number 2 at the top of the next page gives you another story problem about Deborah's playlist on her MP3 player. And there's three questions to solve, okay? So you'll be solving with addition, solving with multiplication and addition, and then finding the total like we've been doing. So I want you to do number two and number one. Turn it in when you're finished. 